Oh boys, I think they're here. Yes, fragile, fragile, fragile. Please, I hope that they arrive safe and sound, Spider. Oh God, we got them, boys. Not that big guy though. I hope they arrive safe and sound. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we've got all of our custom lighting in for Super Duty Sam. We're gonna be finishing him up in this video and I cannot wait. And then there's some stuff going on over there that is unfortunate, but way less unfortunate news. Remember how I told you guys that 929.19 was gonna be a really big day, nines across the board? Well, today's the day, ladies and gentlemen, that you can get entered for a chance to win Super Duty Sam. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are giving away this 2015 Ford Power Stroke Super Duty Lariat edition leather interior and everything that you see on the truck plus those boxes right there that haven't gotten installed yet And that we're gonna be doing in today's video entering to win this truck is as easy as heading over to the enthusiast site Grabbing your favorite product or product and your entries get automatically submitted every five dollars gets you two automatic entries this week As a matter of fact, yes, we're kicking this epic announcement off with double entries plus yes ladies and gentlemen limited flannels They're only gonna be around for the quantities that are available. So if they're sold out in your size I'm sorry, but they're not gonna be coming back Maybe another color, maybe another giveaway, but not this giveaway. Just an FYI. You guys are gonna love these things. I've been wearing them nonstop at any opportunity I could. It's a little bit cooler today, so it's a perfect day to actually rock it. And boy, does it feel amazing. We also have a lot of really awesome new t-shirt designs that I encourage that you guys check out. They're all so symbolic of that enthusiasm that we all are so proud of. Plus guys, there are a lot of new hoodies and hats on the site as well. If you do decide to get entered, just think you might be like Amy or Austin or Treston or Drew, you might be taking home the first four that we ever bought on the channel. What I can damn near promise right now is that this won't be the last because this truck right here has completely changed my outlook for the best. I knew I would like the 6.7 back in the day when I was considering getting a 6.7 before the LML Duramax, but I didn't realize I would like it this much. I didn't realize that I would actually like it as much as the point that I want to get another one. Yes, you just heard me say that. Oh, no, he didn't. So this giveaway is only going to be around for one month, guys. Seriously, it ends October 26th. If you want to get entered for a chance to take this thing home, do it before it's too late because this one's going to fly by, guys. It's going to fly by just like 2019 has. Same thing with this truck. Now, a lot of you guys were saying it was gonna be Long Bed Larry, and um, I can kind of see why. We're building him pretty quick. Some of you said Super Duty Sam, some of you said the Mini Max. Oh my God, wow, you guys got courage. But yes, it is Super Duty Sam. Long Bed Larry's hanging out for a while. We got some other intentions with him. We're gonna open those boxes here momentarily. I'm getting all of my archery equipment set up for the season here in Pennsylvania. WMU 5B, Lancaster County. Hunting season officially opens October 5th. I unfortunately will not be going out on October 5th as I have plans with the family and the wife, but I will be doing as much hunting as possible this year to my total OGs. You might recall my old townhome, which was in Ephrata, Pennsylvania, and my tree stand hanging on the wall. It always stayed on the wall. It kind of just occupied its space on the wall. It never really moved because that was at that point where I didn't really have land to hunt. I kind of had a place that I could go infrequently, but this year I've got a great spot and I'm hoping this year is going to be the first time I'll be able to fill my tags. I've never actually filled a tag or gotten a deer in general. I could probably go out and sight in a rifle and just pull the trigger, but I don't want to do that. I, I'm, I'm really more or less dedicated to the process of learning how to shoot a bow. I've got a Hoyt Carbon Spider. It's an awesome bow. I've got everything all set up. At this new spot, I will be able to set up a tree stand permanently there, which is going to be awesome. I've got my harness. I've got my trail cam. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of new Rage Broadheads all set up. We've got our climbing sticks. We've got all the camo in the bag so we don't get it scented. We've got the target. We've got it all, and we are prepping and ready to rock and roll. I cannot wait, and what I do promise is I will have a GoPro hooked up to my bow, so that way, hopefully, when I do let one fly and land it to where I want it to stick, it will be all captured, and I will share that on film. I know I got a lot of hunters out in the audience and you know what? I'm a huge hunting enthusiast, no pun intended. I'm really excited to share that with all you guys. But with that being said, let's open these boxes up here. Oh boy. Oh. This is the true icing on the cake, guys. Cannot wait to show you all these. So, these headlights were built by Sofla Retros out of, well, Southern Florida, hence the name. Nick is the owner, he's an awesome guy to work with. We'll talk a little bit more about them here shortly. But uh, you can see, we got a whole bunch of goodies in here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we went all out for Super Duty Sam, and you're gonna see why here soon. It's gonna start right from the top. So to kick this off, man, I'm excited. This is like a big, big deal. At the bottom of the bumper, we got him a set of Morimoto fog lights that are gonna be going on and they are yes you guessed it color match ladies and gentlemen the bezels are all J7 and it's going to be a crisp LED projector at the bottom. It's gonna look so good. So those are going to fill out where the stock fog lights are right now. We could not build the headlights and go stock fog. Wow, that paint 
looks incredible. So now we do have a lot of recon lighting on the back end of the truck. Recon our boys, you guys can get 20% off if you use discount code. Enthusiast, I think that's really generous for them to offer that up to my followers, AKA all of my epic individuals that are watching this vlog right now. So I sent off a recon third brake light over to Nick and of course he pulled it apart and got it completely paint matched as well. No stone unturned here, the whole housing is and the whole inside with the LEDs. Oh my God, is that a beautiful thing? It literally smells like fresh paint still. That is the best smell in the entire world. And then last but not least, you guys guessed it. Boom. You can see they've already been opened. Yeah, well, I wonder why. Oh, here we go, boys. Oh, it's fresh. Ready for this? Wow, that is gorgeous. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the grand finale, the moment we've all been waiting for. In this box is something that most have never seen. These are a true one-off product, uh, quite literally a one-of-one one with the mods that were done to the stock factory headlights. And one touch that I can't wait to show you guys here in just one minute, and I'm gonna see for the first time myself. Wow, I can't wait. It's like Christmas, boys. Hey Nick, big shout out on all the fragile stickers, man. I appreciate you there. I was a little nervous in the shipping, but I knew you knew what you were doing. And everything's packed up gorgeously too. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there it is. I gotta get first look. Oh, oh my God. You guys ready for this? Oh my goodness, and look at that. Yup. You got that right, boys. That right there is the holy grail painted into the cleared side marker on the new headlights. And just look at how beautiful they are. Oh. That is an OEM 6.7 headlight that has been painted and retrofitted with two projectors, daytime running light, LEDs on both that act as switchback turn signals, and a light up holy grail emblem on the side. Oh, all in the little touches. Oh my goodness. I feel like a little kid in a candy store right now. We gotta get these safely placed back into the box for transport over to the shop where we're gonna continue this installation. God, guys, how unbelievably beautiful are these? This is like art in front of us. We are witnessing history, ladies and gentlemen, not only because, well, those things are timeless and one of a kind, but also because that is a first for this entire channel's history. We've never done custom built lights. So you might ask me, well, how was it? I'm gonna say it's damn good and I'm kind of hooked. I gotta say big thank you to SoFlow Retros. Go follow them on Instagram right now. Nick is the man, entrepreneur, self-starter, going out chasing his passion. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he took that step to go full-time to build epic lights like that for epic customers like me and all of you and it's a growing business for him that is the coolest thing and that's what I love so much as I preach about YouTube is that I get to connect with these amazing people across the world for one common goal is that is our love for automobiles trucks cars whatever the case might be go follow Nick SoFlo Retros right there ladies and gentlemen tell him that Dirty Max Jack sent you I think that he'll appreciate it and seriously check out some of his other work he does really really awesome stuff these things turned out amazing so this is basically what we're looking at here ladies and gentlemen these are custom built retro fitted paint to match Ford 6.7 headlights. As I had mentioned, we've got the two canister ballasts. We've got a clear side marker with the painted in etched enthusiast holy grail. Those are daytime running lights and switchbacks. So we're gonna have to get them wired up. Not gonna be too bad. Then we've got from our boys at Recon Lighting, these epic, epic full LED tail lights, paint to match J7 paint code, beautiful color by the way. We've got their third brake light, discount code enthusiast. You guys get 20% off. Thank you guys again, Recon. We really appreciate that. And then we've got these custom painted Morimoto fog lights. These things are slick, super bright LEDs that are gonna go down in the pod section. We don't wanna go square and circle and kind of throw things off a little bit. Paint to match, baby. The Ford is getting it. So we got a lot of work to do. We gotta pop up in the hood here. I mean, I guess to kind of start, if you will. We gotta pull the grill out. We gotta pull the bumper off. Then we're gonna have access to everything that we need. We are gonna have to do a little bit of wiring. Shouldn't be all that bad. So I'm not gonna talk any longer. Let's get the process started.
All right, boys, first things first on the agenda, and we've got it checked off and complete, and that is wiring in the switchbacks and daytime running lights that are the halos. Look at how sick that looks, both on the driver's side and passenger side, which you can see we kind of have Jerry rigged up here. Boom, look at that, boys. If we turn the hazards off, we're gonna see real quick what kind of magic happens. Oh, here we go. You can see it over there. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Oh, boy. That is a beautiful thing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Super Duty Sam's new daytime running light appearance. That is what's going to be seen as you're cruising down the road. If you're the winner of this truck, that's what people are gonna see when they're cruising down the road. They're just gonna move right out of the way. We still got a lot of work to do to wire up all of the lighting for the projectors. We still gotta do the fog lights and we still gotta do the tail lights. That took a little bit of time, but I wanted to make sure it was done right. We've got all necessary shrink tubing on the connections and they are all hardwired. I didn't wanna just do wiretaps on them because they're gonna be exposed to the elements. I wanna make sure that these have a nice sound connection from this point going on forward for many a happy miles. Let's get back to it. So we're losing daylight fast here, ladies and gentlemen, outside, but it's cool because we're in the shop and we're making, we're making forward momentum here. Everything is good. You can see we've got illumination behind the enthusiast holy grail symbol and it looks so sick. Excuse me, my wife's calling. Hey, sweetie. Now next on the to-do list is, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it, the fogs. These should be as easy as plug and play. We do have to pull the mounting brackets off of the stock fog light housings. Pop these out real quick, pop the new ones in. As you can see, it's literally just a few clips and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. These are gonna look so sick compared to that of stock. There's your before and after. Let's get right back to work. Thank you, kind sir. So here's where we're at, boys and girls. We got everything reassembled. Fog lights are in. Oh man, the paint match is so real right now, boys. <laughs> man, saucy. All the sauce. I like it. I like it a lot. Got the bumper back on, and now we gotta throw the grill back on before we move to the back end of the truck. And then we are almost complete, guys. Grills always make me a little nervous, but they pretty much clip right in. And then we got a few quick fasteners, and then we'll be back. By the way, guys, this Milwaukee pool is by far the best thing I've ever bought. Cool. That's not going to stop it. Dirty fog, don't need it, don't need it. Probably not lose tools. The greatest thing ever. And you know what, guys? It's a 10 millimeter. Imagine that. Hell yeah. That is a beautiful, beautiful front end. I like it. I like it a lot. So we got to keep the momentum going here, boys. We got ourselves some beautiful taillights that got to go in and a third brake light. What I like about these is they're just oh so simple. <laughs> Pardon the darkness, but darkness means great news. We are done. And these lights look insane. A lot of y'all wanted to see the lighting for the cab lights and the mirrors at night. Well, I can replicate darkness here at the shop. And what better time to show y'all how these look. You're not gonna see any of the paint match. We'll switch to daylight right after this sequence so we can go over everything. And well, guys, enjoy. <laughs> Oh man, don't mind if I do. Thank you very much, Super Duty Sam. You are such a gentleman. I just love that feature. I love that so much. All right, guys, so the truck is completely done. I'm about to do another reveal for y'all. You just saw the in... 
I don't know who that was, but hello. You just saw what all the lighting looks like inside at night. What do you guys think? Drop a comment below. I'm really loving the all white out look. I'll tell you what, these lights look incredible. We had completely deleted all of the amber from around this entire vehicle. That was another first here on the Dirty Max Jack YouTube channel, and I'm super proud we did it. Y'all have been asking for that for a very long time, and I can say finally that, well, I can see why. You guys have extremely good taste. I got quality followers, every single one of you out there. Big time quality in this audience. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, here is the look at the finished products of Super Duty Sam. Let me know what you think after the reveal. Check it out. Boys and girls, what do you think of the completed version of Super Duty Sam? Would you say that it's something that you want to consider to get entered for? Because just think, any one of the limited products that's available on the site right now or anything else that's on the site could make you the winner of this truck, just like Amy took home the LML, Treston took home Rampa Smurf, Austin grabbed Ron Burgundooly, and well, first it was Drew, so next could be you. Honestly, I am kind of sad to see the LML gone. I know a lot of people have been asking me about that, but it's so satisfying and just rewarding to see Amy and her family loving that truck. And you know what, I'm gonna be very honest with you, I'm actually really gonna be sad to see this one go. I'd wanted to get a Ford for the longest time, and well, the intent of the Ford was to be a giveaway truck, and I wanted to kind of bring it in, build it up, have fun with it, create awesome content with it for all of you guys, and see what we could do. And honestly, all of my kind of pre-ownership feelings of the Super Duty, the six, seven power stroke were strong, but now they're extremely strong. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see another Ford, specifically six, seven, come on to the channel, maybe in a newer body style at some point, probably in 2020, not anytime this year, but I really, really love these trucks. And that's where my kind of final takeaway is to that topic. You know, I do go by Dirty Max Jack, and that's because I had a Duramax when I started this amazing venture to meet all of you guys. But I'm really just a general diesel enthusiast, car enthusiast at that. So I don't really want to say Dirty Max Jack defines the content that you'd expect on this channel. Rather, I just love seeing what we can do with absolutely epic trucks. So I do want to say huge shout out to SoFlo Retros for coming through and building some absolutely incredible, truly one-off lights. The fog lights look amazing. The headlights work beautifully. They look great. The turn signals are awesome. Switchbacks are killer. I love them. I'm addicted. I want to say huge shout out to Sean at Peach Bottom Auto Body for truly taking this truck to the next level. Recon Lighting for hooking us up with the mirror lights and the cab lights. These awesome American Force wheels. We've got the Fabtech two and a half inch level kit on it, the Nitto tires, and just one hell of an amazing idea. It came to life so beautifully. I know y'all see the final product, but this is an opportunity to give huge recognition to all of the amazing people that want to help and contribute to this awesome program of being able to give you guys trucks. I love building them and I love handing over the keys. In the meantime, I promise I'm going to get full enjoyment out of this thing because it turns so many heads and I've gotten so many compliments on it just in the short amount of time that I've had it. And I'm gonna continue to embrace that. So like I said, guys, head over to Enthusiast, grab your entries because you could be next. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And just think if you don't pull that trigger, you'll never hit bullseye and well, that'll never be your truck. Food for thought. Capitalize on double entry entries this week before they're gone. My Like League, I love you guys. Do what you do best. Tap that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're approaching 200K and I can't believe it. I'm so grateful for you guys. Love y'all and I'll see you in the next upload. Sometimes I got these ugly thoughts up in my mind. I got that angel and the devil by my side. Ask me how I'm doing, bitch. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, yeah. I'm doing fine. I'm making my believe before I die, yeah. I'm the king of all this shit, I swear that.